very depressing, very um, emotional for my help and myself. The damage has been cleaned up in Chuck Helmka's store, but the surveillance video shows a man using a hammer to break into the CNE market on West Division Road early Monday. It took the man just a minute to get inside and steal cigarettes. Very frustrated because we try to make a safe and a, and a happy environment for our, our help and our customers. And uh, when things this happen in the neighborhood, it's pretty uh, depressing and uh, shocking to a lot of people that they would be faced property just for a few dollars. The armed robbery happened earlier this summer, just one of five since March. I am losing sleep and also my help is always frustrated, especially with the armed robbery. So we put in a $3,200 camera system. Um, we also put extra lighting on the building so it brightens it up the place. But due to the fact we're on the city limits outside of town, it, it, it kind of makes us vulnerable. Suspects from three of the five robberies have been arrested, but the other two remain unsolved. Uh, currently, there are several leads that we're following up on, uh, really good leads that were, have been developed through the community. Um, so uh, troopers are out there right now, well, along with the detectives, knocking on those doors and talking with those folks. Luckily, no one has been hurt in the robberies, but Helmka wants all this to stop. That's what I've been losing sleep over. How can we deter this? How can we change it different? I know that uh, the armed robbery woke a lot of the community up because uh, it's a small community, and I know a lot of the business people and they just wondered in looking at their business what they can do differently to protect their assets and their property. In Wexford County, Brendan Kinney, 7 and 4 News.